Hey guys, this is Bando Guy 4 bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. How'd you like to start off this video with the next level? If you would like that, uh, too bad, because we need something before going in there. I would love to say we can just go straight to the next area, but it's just not possible. There are actually several items I need. Well, one item that I need, and I want to get uh, a lot of rupees after buying that item, because I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the next bomb upgrade and the final bomb upgrade is in the next level. So you want to have um, close to or already have 100 rupees when you go into the next level. But we need something else in order to actually complete the dungeon. We don't need the 100 rupees to complete the dungeon, but we do need the yellow item. And lots of people will tell you to go ahead and buy this item long before this dungeon, which I did on my practice file, and there I go talking about it again. I need to stop doing that, and uh, it is meat. It's actually bait, and one of the enemies in there will, in the next level, won't hurt you, but he will not allow you to pass unless you feed him. Which, I mean... If I could block travelers from going to places they need to go with... I would get food out of it too. So... And I should probably... Uh, honestly, I think level 6 is the toughest dungeon in this entire game, so it's not completely necessary. But I would not say no to replenishing my uh, potion before going into the next dungeon. So, if you recall, it's um, that Armos. And in here, you can buy bait for the cheapest that's available at, at 60 rupees. And now I have to get back up to 68 so I can buy potion. And then up even higher than that in order to get um, <laughs> the bomb upgrade. So this time I'm going to cut away and I will come up, come back where you can get more rupees and I'm actually going to show where some of those are finally because I don't want to grind for half an hour again. Okay, I actually decided to come back right here because I remembered where oh, one very close to here is. And I don't know why I didn't get it ages ago. It's actually in this area. Um, let's get some of these out of the rocks out of the way. And of course for most of these you need bombs or the candle. And in this case I have bombs. Uh, just bomb right there and you can get 30 rupees in here. And as I'm going through, I'll just uh, point out a lot of important things to know. Um, in this area, if you burn down this bush, you will be forced to pay 20 rupees. So you do not want to go down there, uh, no matter what you do. Unless you want to lose rupees for some reason. Um, down here, if you burn this bush, I believe it is. Let's confirm that. Yeah, uh, there's another place to buy medicine. But uh, the other one is closer to level 7 anyway. So, I'll worry about that then. Um, over here, as you know, is the warp. And... those tech tights even though they are generally pretty good about giving me rupees. See? I have rupees. Love these guys. Um get out my bombs again. And since these guys are frozen I may as well uh get something out of them. Somewhere along this wall is a place you can bomb for a another gambling game. 
Just because I'm telling you where it is does not mean I condone using the gambling games. They more often than not will um, cause you to lose rupees. Which is also what one of the... There's another bottom of a wall in this area somewhere. And I'm not even going to bother opening it up. Because I'm trying to open up as many secret areas as I can right now. And that one will only cause me to lose rupees. Uh, again, 20. So I'm not going to bother with that. Um, the next place I'll go gives you 10 rupees if I haven't already managed to get it. Um, let's see, where is that? Anyway. Sit. Oh, I know where I am. Sorry about that. It's a temporary mix-up. I know where I am now. And of course, walking around, killing everything you see is also a viable way to get rupees. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, over here, if you move the armor statue that's to the right, you get 10 rupees. I might or might not have gotten this one already. I'm going to be completely honest, I do not remember. Doesn't look like I did. So there's 10 more rupees. And I'm trying to remember to subtract 68 for the um, potion that I'm going to get. One that I know that we got is the 30 rupees in here. But one that I know that I did not get is 30 more rupees if you bomb right there. So, 30 more rupees right there. Okay, real quick in the entrance of mentioning everything there is, there's another potion shop down here. And. Just so that I know, when I have the 100 rupees for the bomb upgrade, I'll go ahead and grab the potion right now. So, if you're playing along for some reason, go ahead. Um, there's a discount shop near here. <laughs> that uh, you can buy a magic shield for 90 rupees. That's another gambling game. So, if you're feeling lucky, you can go right on in there. There is another um, cave that will cost you 20 rupees right around here. Um, but again, I don't want to lose rupees. I'm trying to gain some. But over here, at least I think it's right over here. As always, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking probably not. I'm hoping that. Bomb right here. Yes, and this is 30 rupees. Yes, 30. And if you go all the way to the right and go up the staircase that is there, you can get to level 9 and another person potion selling shop. Up from here is another place to lose 20 rupees. To the left is yet another place to lose 20 rupees. And then down from there is a gambling game. But instead I'm going to come down here. Um, this is where the power bristle was I think. Or at least close to that area. Um, there's a shop here that sells magic shields. Uh, arrows and bombs. See if I can get one more of those. Uh, by the way, this is the discount shop that sells the uh, shield for 90 rupees. So if you're looking for another magic shield for like like 8U, that would be a good place to go for one. And I will cut away to the rest of the rupees that I'm going to get because they're right near the dungeon. Okay, that didn't take very long. 
rupees here, burn that bottom left bush, and you can get 10 rupees from uh, this guy. Pick it up. Um, another shop that sh another shop that sells a magic shield for 90 rupees is up from there. Burn the corner bush for that. And there is a lot of rupees really close to here. Again, here's the original cave that you need to show the letter to to get the uh, potion. But I already have the potion. Um, I believe it is... Which one of these bushes? I think this one right here that you can uh, burn. It will not give you rupees. It will um, take 20 from you. Um, if you burn this tree right below the cluster of four, this is another 100 rupee uh, hidden area. And I may as well get the rest of them as well. Oh, I just got into the Lost Woods. Oops, turn around. If you go back to the right, you can exit the Lost Woods. Um, the bottom right, oh, I must have already gotten this one. 10 rupees in the bottom right there, if I didn't show it on screen. And there is one more place that gives rupees. It is down from here and past the Lost Woods, actually. You have to go around to get to it. But uh, that one will give you 30 rupees. But I have plenty now. And I think I just covered all the shops in the... Or all the rupee places in the entire game. Um, is it this one that's a fairy fountain? Yes. So... When you're going to level 7, you come in here to get the fairy. Um, the recorder, in addition to killing the dogger, will warp you to a dungeon you've already been to. Or, if you play it here, where fairies don't live, it will dry up and reveal level 7. So if you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up, feel free to comment, and if you liked my videos so, so, so far, subscribe because there's more on the way. This is Guy 4 and I will see you guys next time.